to speak on the Israeli assault on Gaza is former CIA officer Dr. Charles Kogan. Thank you very much for being with us here on RT. Happy to be here. Uh, now, uh, Hamas says that it has captured an Israeli soldier. The IDF, of course, has denied that these claims. Uh, we don't know what the truth is at this point. If it does turn out to be true, how much of an impact would that have on the ongoing fighting? Well, I think it would have a considerable impact, considering what happened in the case of Gilad Shalit. They released, finally, after five years, 1,000 Hamas prisoners in exchange for Gilad Shalit. I mean, Israel looks after its uh, beleaguered uh, citizens. There's no question about that. So we all have embarrassing moments, or at least politicians tend to have them. John Kerry, the U.S. Secretary of State, was recently caught off mic uh, talking about the Israeli tactics in Gaza. Let's listen to what he had to say. It's a hell of a pinpoint operation. It's a hell of a pinpoint operation. Right. It's escalating really, uh, significantly, and it just underscores the need for, for ceasefire. We've got to get over there. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Thank you, John. I think, John, we ought to go tonight. I think it's crazy to be sitting around. Now, it seems he's uh, pretty frustrated and wanting to get involved somehow. Can we expect that to turn into some type of a concrete action? Well, uh, let me say at the outset that the balance sheet is terrible. I mean, almost 500, going on 500 Palestinian deaths, and until today, two Israeli deaths. Now there are more, and uh, we have 13 uh, IDF soldiers uh, killed. But uh, the, uh, the problem, I think, is that the peace process has been halted. I think that if the peace process were, were going on instead of be, had, having been cut off by Netanyahu in April, uh, there might have been a chance to uh, at least uh, arrive at some uh, detente or some, some agreement some with, with Hamas. And, you know, there's been negotiation before between the U.S. and Hamas. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, no, you mentioned this this balance sheet being off balance. Hospitals, schools, and media offices, they've all been hit in this offensive, targets uh, from Israel. Is there any justification if Israel is aiming at Hamas militants? Why are these soft targets being hit? Well, as a matter of fact, there's more justification for Israel this time than in the previous uh, uh, skirmishes with Gaza because the uh, uh, the Hamas uh, rockets keep coming, and uh, there's no uh, uh, there's no let up in them. And there have been a tremendous number of rockets uh, uh, launched. Very very few casualties. I think two. Uh, but it has created an atmosphere of fear, not only in southern Israel but in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. So uh, Hamas uh, Israel has, shall we say, slightly more justification. Hamas has some legitimate grievances. There's the Israeli blockade, the the, uh, the uh, prisoners. Uh, my own personal opinion, and I've stated this elsewhere, is that there's not going to be peace as long as Netanyahu is prime minister. He doesn't want it. And with all the efforts of Kerry, which were highly laudable, it was Netanyahu who broke the talks off after Israel refused to release the final tranche of Palestinian prisoners back in April. Do you think that uh, uh, Israel is doing enough to try and prevent civilian casualties? Are they doing everything that they can to keep fr civilians from dying? Well, I think they're trying to, but, but it's very difficult because these neighbor neighborhoods are very crowded and there are launching sites within the neighborhoods. Uh, there are stray actions that go wrong, like the killing of the four Palestinian uh, teenagers or, or youths on the beach uh, last Wednesday. But uh, I think the, the IDF does make an effort. They send out warnings, but it's a very, very messy situation. And, and it's, it, it, it must stop. I, maybe, maybe Kerry can do something, and he's going out to the Middle East, I think, imminently, to uh, Cairo. And uh, Ban Ki-moon is going out there. It's, it's, uh, it's gotten way out of hand. And as Kerry said quite mm -hmm. accurately, it's a hell of a pinpoint operation. Indeed. Interesting to hear your thoughts. Dr. Charles Kogan, former CIA officer, CIA officer, thanks for being with us here on RT You're International. Welcome. It's a pleasure.